Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. I'm sorry for the lack of videos over the weekend. Um, I've been very busy just, you know, hanging out with friends and then also doing a bunch of stuff for school and trying to set up a new studio thing. Um, I bought some new lights. I'm getting a backdrop stand. So hopefully all of that is going to be done within the week. But this is like my first time actually filming something since being back at school. And I'm very excited because I got a ton of sets from the Lego store in Montreal which is actually off the island and in another town, which meant that it was like an hour long trip to get there one way, going on like the metro and then the bus and then walking. So it was a huge pain in the butt. I would never do it again, but I'm glad I did it once because I really wanted to get all of this stuff in person. But before we get to that, I want to show off the Marvel minifigure boxes I got. I got four of these boxes of six from Amazon Canada about a month ago now. I haven't opened any of them and I don't know why I bought four because I've gotten way too many of these minifigure packets. You guys know I had already opened 12 for you guys, then I got another five, then I got four boxes of six, and I also have two full boxes of 36 coming in the U.S., so um, yeah, I went a little bit crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. I'm going to open this one because it's damaged and because I wanted to open one of these things. And then as for the other three, I think I'm either going to sell them or maybe use them for a giveaway. I'm not sure what I want to do there, um, but that's just like what I've been thinking about. So stay tuned for a couple more minifigure openings coming during the week. So getting into what I got at the Lego store, I did two like boxes of build a minifigure because there were so many awesome pieces. I really, actually, I'm very glad that the employee let me get a hair piece, for, an extra hair piece for this figure instead of an accessory, but there were just a bunch of cool pieces. I love this girl's face. I've never seen it before. Um, I got some nice, like, Taco Tuesday minifigure stuff. And then, finally, this hair piece that I was after last year, the complete, like, costume minifigure. Got a chicken with him. So, just, like, a bunch of random stuff, but I'm really excited about this because there are a bunch of cool, exclusive build minifigure pieces. Although, I am very sad that I didn't find the rest of this girl's outfit. Um, you know, like with those Halloween, like, uh, torso and legs. So I'm going to have to go to Bricklink for that. And lastly, before I forget, I did get both of the Lego Super Mario keychains. One of them from like my Nintendo rewards and then one of them from Lego VIP. Very excited to do a review on these for you guys because I think that they're really nice VIP rewards. So going back to the Lego store and actually getting into real sets now, I did get the new Tumblr. This is a massive box um, for a $40 set, which makes sense because this is a very large $40 set, and I am very excited to build this. You guys know I've wanted a minifigure scale tumbler for years. I actually made my own custom one based off of Brent Waller's mock. I'll link to that so you guys can check that out. And I will be doing a comparison with this one once I get this home. And of course, I had to buy all the new Marvel sets, even though I said I was going to wait on the Spider-Man ones until November. I caved. Um, Lego's a little bit more expensive in Canada, so in total, these sets were about $5 more expensive here. But I got the Mysterio's Drone Attack set. I got uh, the Drone Duel set. Too many drones, in my opinion, but I mean, whatever. I only care about the minifigures, really. And then I did get Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. I am most excited for the minifigures from all of these because they are all incredible. So I'm really, really pumped for that. And like I said, I mean, I was like, why wait? I want the minifigures now, so let me just get them. So I'm going to try to build these and review these before I go home in like less than a week. So we'll see how I do. And then, of course, I had to get the new Eternal sets. This is the $10 Eternals Aerial Assault. This is like such a throwback to me. I haven't seen a $10 Lego set in a box this small in like years. I'm talking like, you know, $10 sets from superheroes and stuff like that. Also, sorry if you can hear the sirens in the background. I live on a busy street now. Um, but yeah, like $10 superhero sets have not been a thing in years. $15 ones, yeah. $13 ones, sure. But $10, I haven't seen that since like 2011. So that's crazy to me. And this is a great set for 10 bucks. Um, but that's enough about one set. I also got the second smallest one, the Deviant Ambush. In the, they actually released a new Eternals TV spot today. And you can see this guy in that spot, which I thought was really cool because I think it looks pretty accurate. Here is in Arashem's Shadow. I was really excited for this one, but after reading reviews, I'm not liking it as much. So I'm interested to see what it's like in person because I'm just worried it's not going to be worth the $60 US price point or the $80 Canadian price point. And that was a big deterrent for me in getting these Eternal sets. I was like, do I really want to pay the inflated prices? Because Canadian tax is quite expensive. Um, for comparison, in Michigan, sales tax is 6%. In Quebec, it's 10 or sorry, it's 15% because it's 
like 5% um, like national and then like 10% provincial or something like that. So it makes Lego very expensive, especially because they're already more expensive to begin with in countries that aren't the U.S., so in in all, I ended up paying twenty five dollars for all twenty five dollars more for all the Eternal sets because I did get Rise of the Domo as well. Um, super excited for this one! Like, oh my god! Like the minifigures here all look great, but then also I'm really excited for the builds because I think the Deviants look awesome, and this ship, um, you know, people are calling it like the Dorito like spaceship or whatever. I can't wait to build it. I think it's going to be really cool. But the only reason I paid. The only reason I bought these and paid that extra 25 bucks because that's a lot of money. I didn't want to do that, but I want these at home. And so I'm not about to buy them at home, then bring them back to Canada, like in my suitcase, then build them and review them like without the boxes, which would suck, and then dismantle them and take them back home in December. It's just, it's not worth all that hassle, but it does suck because it's more expensive here. And that makes me sad. And the last set I got is the main reason I went to the Lego store. It's the main reason I made the trek out and I was originally only going to buy this one. You can already see that it is the Super Mario 64 question mark block. This set looks awesome. The instant it was revealed, I was like, this isn't what I was expecting, you know, because I thought that it would be a micro scale Peach's Castle like everyone else, but I love it. I don't care about the expanding levels. It's a really interesting play feature. I think it's like the way it's built, I can't wait to experience that. But I hate the little micro figures, and I don't care about the levels because I've never played Super Mario 64. I'm just in it because I'm just in, like, for this set because it's basically a life-size question mark block. And I love, like, really weird life-size Lego objects. So I think it's really cool, but I probably won't get around to building it for a couple of weeks since I want to do all this Marvel stuff first. And apparently when you don't film videos for a month, you completely forget to film an outro. So here is everything that I got in this haul, all stacked up very nicely. The Eternals box art is just beautiful. I can't wait to build all of these. So I'm going to get started with No Way Home pretty much as soon as I'm done filming this video. So stay tuned for all the reviews. Comment below what you want me to review first, because um, like I said, I'll start with No Way Home, but after that it's kind of up for grabs. So... Let me know what you guys want to see. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.